105 mil. Actually, 106. Make it 105. Come this way, Faye. Looks like 106 mil to me. Right, let's just redefine all these marks so we can see everything clearly. I think we might have a slight problem that these aren't the same angle. But we're going to make them the same angle. <coughs> right. Let's go for this one. Because <coughs> then that would... It's better that it has more muck than that. It's too tight on the brick. So that's what we're going for, this angle. Mm -hmm. The best mark that I've been with someone. Yes. Sixty-two. Yeah, sixty-two will be fine. I should really use using a thinner pencil. Or at least a sharper pencil. Let's start this again, Jerry. Let's put this in the middle. 250, 125, that's the middle. <coughs> 62 would be 31 either way, won't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, I need a sharper pencil. Right. How long is this for? How long do they go up here? We'll make it one, two, three. Just one there, right on that point there. One, two, three. Right. <coughs> now it should be square off those lines, shouldn't it? If there's a, if that's a brick. Yeah, that should be square, that one. Filling them up. That looks good. That is the brick. So, ten, well, should we give it eight mil? Because the brick is going to shrink. Yeah, let's give it eight. Right, that is now the brick going around here. That's 33 degrees, Faye. <coughs> so, what we have to do. 30. Now, is it going to be 33 degrees or is it going to be more? Because if it's more, I'm buggered. Don't want that. Yeah, right, let's, let's go and test it. If I put this bit across here, this right. Right, so that means if I cut that onto there, so now I need to cut this over here somewhere. back through so we know where they're going to be. Now Faye, not only that, we need to start marking things accurately. So, we want our lines there. And I want There to make sure it's nice and upright and square. I'm going to square all these lines across there with a big square. Okay, so now we have to start putting it together. 
Wait, we need some screws. Hang on. Right. So now we have to countersink everything. Oh, I see. You're making it so that the head sticks in the wood. That's exactly what I'm going to Now this is the complicated bit. Why? I need to get this. Not this bit. This bit here I just marked up. Right there in the right place. And put the screws through all at the same time. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but I don't know where it is. It's not perfect. That is perfect. Right. That's all right, that's all right. That's pretty perfect. That's pretty good. And now it's this one. Have to make sure it's all being held square. Because the cuts should be square because they were cut on a chop saw. Right, now I have to square that line. Am I too close? Mm, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting in the one. No, so you'd never get in the one. Now we need to sit through here, don't we? Now we've got to get them in the right place. Oh God, place can be so complicated. My impact driver is dying. Okay, look in here, please. Now, because this here ampersand and thing is uh, so bloody big, that's the only design we can get in it. I'm not too sure I like it. So the question is now, do I either just go with this mold or do I try and get a smaller one of these to fit in here? It's gonna be very small. Or I could just do a cross, couldn't I? Mm. Respect, you gotta earn it. You damn right!